Hey y'all, Coach of the Fire here, guy Chris with me. Hey y'all. And in our last video, Chris and I recorded about the calendar. We spent almost an hour and a half proving uh, what month we're in. Right. And when the um, Feast of uh, Rosh Hashanah started. That's correct. And like I said, an hour and a half using primarily this scripture from the book of Enoch. Right. This book of the revolutions of the luminaries of heaven. Mm -hmm. Right. If you look through these few verses here, four through eleven, it shows you how the celestials work. You know. Right. The, as far as the sun, the moon, and the stars. How right? they run courses. Right. And the thing about it, you know, you see how dry this is. This is black and white, right? Right. But. Imagine if there was a visual aid that went with this. Uh -huh. not, not, not one created by man, but one created by our Father in Heaven. Oh, yeah. Right? Right. A way that you could see this timing. As it goes on. Yeah, as it goes on. Somebody could come and say, you're in this blank month, you're in the blankety blank month. And you just look, snap your head around and say, no, we ain't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wouldn't that be good? That would be good. Right? Well, I believe that there has been a huge discovery. Now, you know, there's been a lot of discoveries lately, right? With the relationship to the calendar and, you know, other things, right? Right. right. But I believe there has been a enormous discovery that proves the months and how the calendar works and it's that visual aid that we were talking about the thing is it wasn't discovered by this channel it wasn't no not this time this time it was actually discovered by two other channels oh. okay um and we're going to show the video clip that i was watching this was sent in to a, from a from a viewer to our channel say hey coach you know um you seen this this guy did this thing over here and when I went over there sure enough he claims to have discovered this thing that can show us how the celestials are moving in their courses the visual aid that you need to know what month you in so whenever you want to know when Rosh Hashanah starts you just look at it you just look at it and bam you know you don't need no you know sundials you don't need no um you know your sundial may be handy but you don't need no calendars you don't need youtube you don't need you know what i mean you just know you're looking up at the stars and knowing yeah and that's the hint so let's come over here and what i want to do is i want to look at this video this is a video from a channel called ty green Okay. And I'll give a link to this video at the end of this video and or down in the description. But let's see what he has to say and then let's talk about it. All right. I studied a 20 year span and found that this woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet is there every year, just like Leviticus 23 outlined. Look at this. As the sun rises, you won't be able to see the stars, so I will remove the atmosphere setting of this program so that the constellations along with the sun and the moon can be seen more clearly. Note that the calendar dates, I will put those in the middle part of the screen, and also note the location of the moon. You see, I A U constellation on the left part of the screen that will display what constellation that the moon is in as we go along I will highlight the moon now watch this from the year 2010 to the year 2030 we can see that on every seventh month and first day we can see a woman clothed with the Sun and the moon under her feet so that woman is the constellation of Virgo. Watch this. You'll see the sun right in that constellation. So that's the 
woman clothed with the sun, so the sun will be in that constellation of Virgo. And we'll see the moon, that new moon associated with Yom Teruah, will be under her feet. So, October 10th for the year 2010. September 30th for the year 2011. September 19th for the year 2012. October 7th for the year 2013. September 27th for the year 2014. October 14th for the year 2015. October 3rd for the year 2016. September 23rd for the year 2017. You know, most of us was watching this one. October 11th for the year 2018. October 1st for the year 2019. September 20th for the year 2020. This year, October 8th for the year 2021. September 28th for the year 2022. September 19th for the year 2023. October 5th for the year 2024. September 25th for the year 2025. October 12th for the year 2026. October 2nd for the year 2027. September 21st for the year 2028. October 9th for the year 2029. And September 29th for the year 2030. Yet when we see the Jewish calendar, we find 12 of these 20 instances where the calendar is off. And four of those 12 instances are only off by around a 24 hour period. So more than half of the Jewish calendar dates for the Feast of Trumpets do not match up. So why is this not 100%? So what do you think about that? Seems promising. Promising? Promising of what? Promising of being a sign that we can use. Did you understand what he said? I believe so. Talking about how that same sign in the sky that we were looking for in 2017 was to appear every year. Every year. And the thing about it, when you look at the dates that it appears and its relationship to the moon, that's why he was talking about those different times. He was naming off those different dates, even in October. Right. He was talking about the conjunction of the moon and the sun. Right. But what he was saying was, is that the sun's alignment would be in that position on or about September the 23rd every year. Right. Around about that time. And you say, well, what's the significance of that? Well, if you look at the gates of Enoch, like we were over there in that chapter, um, looking in chapter uh, um, the the book of the revolutions of the luminaries of heaven and we were talking about or looking at those six gates when you look at the dates of those six gates you see that the earliest that we could enter the seventh month is September the 18th right. and when you listen to his dates that he called out None of the dates for Rosh Hashanah were before September the 18th. Right. So anyone, if they wanted to, they can look at this sign in the sky and see if the sun is actually in Virgo or not. Right. And see, has the seventh month started yet? Well, has the seventh month started yet? Mm -hmm. And if it's not, and I don't know, you know anything about it, I don't know which sign comes before that but if it's not there we're not in that month yet right so even without the celestials because you can't see where the sun is in relationship to the stars if you look up there right but what you do have is the date when the sign shows up. Which is September the 22nd according to, or September the 23rd according to Mr. Ty Green. Right. Or, 
You could go by Enoch's date of September the 18th. Either case, you can't go wrong. Either case, when the Jewish community say it is a month early, you automatically know. Like you, like this year, they say it's on September the 8th. So it's At least 10 days early. So based on what you've learned here in this video, the September the 8th, is that is that a true Rosh Hashanah date? No. What about September the 11th? Will never be. Right. So with his discovery, Ty Green's discovery, he's taking credit for it, I guess, with his, and this is huge, with his discovery, we now have proof in the stars, just like you got proof in the scripture, we now have proof in the stars of what month we're in, to the point where we can never be tricked, confused, off track, Right. you know, again. We'll always know. But check this out. This one was brought to my attention just now. There is another video from another channel, Barry All, that talks of the same thing. Now, in his video, he says we discovered. And I do know he had a relationship with the Interrupts 165 channel or something like that and a few other channels. Mm -hmm. um, and I, so I'm not sure by what he means by we discovered. And I tried to reach out to those channels to ask them, you know, if they, you know, have videos that they can, you know, point me to before I got this one done. But I haven't received anything as of the re time we recorded this. So, he said we discovered. So, I'm going to say they discovered something similar, but yet opposite, but yet so important in relationship to what Ty Green has discovered that it makes 100% proof. Let me, let me just show the video. Mm -hmm. This is what I predict is the true first month. You'll see the sun and the new moon in Aries and Aviv is clearly on the horizon. Now if we go 14 days from this, this is April 13th, so 14 days brings us to April 27th. 26th and 27th. So first of all, at sunset on the 26th, the sun is in Aries and the new moon, or the full moon, I'm sorry, the full moon is at Virgo. And this is Passover dawn and Passover evening. And as the lamb goes into the grave on Passover, turning into the 15th day when he was buried, this the moon comes up in the scales. Now, the stars of the scales, two of the stars, uh, one of them is the price paid sufficient and the price not sufficient. So, when Jesus went into the grave as the lamb going into the grave, the moon testified as the price paid was sufficient. When you use the March beginning, the moon is nowhere near testifying of this. But if you find the, the proper start of the first year and the proper Passover, then every single year, when on the 14th night going into the 15th, because remember the Jews uh, were instructed to start the day at sunset, not sunrise, but sunset would start the new day. So the 14th going into the grave would be the 15th, and that's when he was buried. That's when he was put into the grave. And immediately on the other side of the horizon, the full moon rises in the scales. Then on the next day in the grave, there's a full another day. This would represent the second day in the grave. And what comes up is the moon in the claw of scorpion. And remember, Jesus went down to get the keys of hell and death and to, to preach to those in the Netherlands and, and to bring some up. Then, on the third day in the grave, Lamb goes in and the moon testifies of the champion coming out of the grave with the snake, the serpent, by the neck and by the tail. He has won. This is victory. And then it continues on to the last day of unleavened bread. In the which the moon testifies in Capricornus, which is life, the fish part, coming from death of the goat. Every single year. Now, if you use what they are saying on the Torah calendar, March 14th, this doesn't play out. So you hear that part where he says it does that every single year. Right. So essentially, he is saying 
the exact same thing that Ty Green has said. It's just in the spring instead of the fall. In the spring instead of the fall. So you have two signs. One for Passover. Which is a visual demonstration of the stars they have discovered playing out the Passover scenario, the Passover ceremony, the Passover story. Whatever, the Passover story. Right. Right there when Passover is going on. Or right before it starts. You play out this story and then you wait then you wait for the new moon to, you know, act or the full moon you wait for the fifteenth day of the month to actually have these then the fourteenth day of the month to have these events, right? Right. And then six months later, the same thing happens. Except for now we're gonna play this other play out for you in the stars. Every single year. These guys have discovered this every single year. Wow. That's big. These other um, channels get credit for these um, discoveries, but, you know, um, I think it's important enough that everybody should know about this. And we'll, we'll continue to look on it. If you see anything else we could talk about down there, you know, like for instance, if you're into. Um, Stellarium and all of that stuff, and you know how all of that works. Maybe you could look to see which story or how the story is being played out around Passover and or Hanukkah or anything like that. That'd be really interesting. Um, nobody's definitely done anything like that. You'll be uh, you'll be definitely the first. But um, if you got anything to add, just put it in the comment section. All right. Hit that like button, subscribe, and shalom. Shalom.